You blew it again, Lord Crump. You sickened. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. Oh, and Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there? What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again, and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. The two Shadow Sirens. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. That called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Yeah. Was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus' room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. Must know now. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. There is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask for you. I don't mind tech really ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you could. We'll first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus' room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp. The... None of these ones? This one. Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus' room by becoming completely invisible. Oh, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all the potions on the desk in the kitchen. That machine in the back. But even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the ex my research. Them as reference and set the potion. Place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. So green and red have to be on these sides. They might be swapped though. Then these two are swapped. And I'll place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. Hey, did we just happen to put it in the right spot? Do not place the red potion on the far right. Away. No way. No way. No way. Do I have to hit the button? Please press the button where the beaker stops this one. Time. Oh! I was expecting that shit. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts. That's
How do I know if it was 30 seconds? But my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly? I think so. Very good. And please drink it. Drink this. Please, you must drink it. What if I turn into like a robot? You've done it! You've successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But, I must ask you to take off your dress. However, even the potion cannot make the dress clean. What? That's indecent. No way. Look at my crown. Oh, fine, I guess. This is all his elaborate way to get her naked. This whole thing is just Bowser getting Peach naked. When you go into Sir Grotus's room, first locate the disk with the recorded data. Then insert that disk into the personal computer and connect to the network. When you're finished with that, please come back to this room. I'll teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose now, please go to Grotus's room. I'm completely butt-ass naked right now. Whoa, okay, that's creepy. Why is the door open even though there's no one here? Not function or am I just totally losing it? Alright, where do I go? Grotus's room? Head over here. Look at this place. It's supposed to be Gordis' room now. Where is that disc? Found it. This must be it. Oh yeah, now I insert the disc into the computer and connect to the network. Night. We're playing. Did it. Yes, I did it. It's working. It's all done, I better put this back where I got it. Okay, I get out of here. Right when I go, he's gonna come in. Now I gotta do another potion. I wonder how close to 30 seconds we got. I bet I was right on. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data. Now I'll teach you how to become visible again. It's quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert to normal institution. Okay, just hang on. Yeah, put some clothes on first, Peach. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here, the green potion, man. What a relief. I was kind of worried that I might never become visible. There was never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. I appreciate that they bring me back. Tech leaving that step out. Hey, by the way, Tech... What was that data? I'm still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. If my prediction is correct, it's correct what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good, then I'll use the communicator thing. Email your fuckboy Mario! I've written my message, would you send it? Message has been sent. Goodbye. We are done for now. Please go back to you. Okay, take care, Tech. I love you, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Oh, you're welcome, Tech. Princess Peach, I will protect you. Oh, are they gonna hurt Princess Peach? Save all game progress. Your progress was saved. Thank you. 
it says Peach Dunn. Oh, what's over here? Oh, Bowser's in Twilight Town. Always a little bit behind Bowser. Black, what is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's creeping me out. The light's odd because it's Twilight Town, my lord. There should be treasure here. Put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal block. Sounds good to me, Hoggy. Haggy. This fucking guy. Oh man, I'm pretty sure Beldum's dead. She lost her super bomb on somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad, bad, bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a fierce comeback here or else. Hey, bam, got it. I am the man. Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars. One fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. Ba ba ha ha. The luck of the moon is still riding a shotgun with you there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Ah, uh, somebody's there. Whoa, what's the idea, turtle boy? Looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet. Well, help. The Trump come back. Now then, let's do. Let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill everything about out of your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. If you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa, there, big guy. I mean, no. Wait. What am I afraid of? You, bahaha. -ha. If you think you can take me, then try it, Chubby. All troops report! Ha 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 ha, yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? This is gonna be like Space Invaders. Ah, you dare scoff at us, Cook Clan. Form up! Oh shit. Whoa, well played. Ha <laughs> ha so it's gonna be a tough guy. Uh, oh, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this turtle, dork. Super bob -omb. Didn't she break it? Didn't she break it? I thought it was broke. Huh, what was that? The big rapid didn't even go off. Bah, this is how you do it, amateur. Watch him. Oh, you idiot. Bowser, you dummy. Save all game in progress. <laughs> uh, Bowser, you silly fucker. And then straight into Mario. <laughs> I have returned. Sir Mexican, what's up? You, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Oh, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Roadport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Uh, I can't wait to get home. You've been looking forward for this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need. For real, now get this boat moving. Yeah, we beat Cortez, man. We knocked the shit out of him. Well, that is all there is to it. I am correct. The sea captain. Mario. Oh, Mario. We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet friend. Hey, Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? I'm sure they'll all be fine here. Let's go, Mario. Woohoo! Ready, amigos? Cast off! Also, I like how the ring is one big thing your ring. Yeah. It's a right nice place. Or a bracelet. Month star, day zero. Day circle, and thus our adventure came to an exciting end. The ship sailed smoothly on to Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasures, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds, for I have found something even more precious than doubloons. Yes. Even now, I hear the crew ready to dock. The time is ripe for the close of the journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessings upon Bobby. Friends are, oh my god, what? At last we return, slathered in glory to my hometown, Sweet Rogueport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all. But of course, we all know that. You know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now... Please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. Later. But what? Hey, why are you? You're all leaving already? Ah, oh, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. 
you are ancient, 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 anxious to continue your own adventure also, ah? Huh? One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It's not likely, I assure you, but you should, how you say, shoot through the stars. If ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Kill Hall Key, just say the word, okay? I will send you to that island faster than the fastest winds blow, comprende? Yes, yes, giant skull. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. <laughs> well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again. Comprende. Well, Mario, we probably ought to go too, don't you think? Let's go to the let's go to the door. Oh shit! Hey, that's your ring, Mario. It must be an email from Princess Peach. Here's Mario. I have some good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cropping with this tech, I've managed to obtain some of the machine's data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, once his analysis is done. I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. New Luigi story. Oh, dude, good point. I'll email you again once I learn more. Good, okay. Wow, that Princess Peach is so totally awesome. Go, girl. Better get to work, too. We'll do the Luigi story, and then I'm actually going to have to stop the stream early. And then we'll be back for the Procast at 9.30 tonight. We might stream after. We'll see how long it goes. Oh, look at this. I'm hazy, and I must say Luigi's a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course Luigi will be... the grass? I get it. Yeah, yeah. Gotta be something back here. Oh, okay. Okay, what's back here? Yes. Going to do me until Banzer Pillar removes his 8:30 schedule. What? Got all the partners there to get. Okay, cool. Drops Mars attack power by one, but regain one health per attack. That's interesting. You focus on certain attacks that way. 7:30, I appreciate it. What are you talking about? It's 9.30 p.m. Central Time for the Procast. Most of my streams start at 8 o'clock Central. I think there may be a star piece there. God damn it, Mexican. A little late. Like one I got a stomp. Oh, it's right there. I see it. That's what's up, Mexico. I definitely would have never gone back there. <laughs> Where's that little mouse that's gonna bring me 999 gold? Alright, Luigi, I'm ready for you. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass. It, that's a that's Jazzafras town. This time, bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form in that little quest. Pretty nutty, bro. Wanna hear what happened? Yeah. Well, like I said, it really it's really long story. See how long it takes me to fall asleep. As soon as we hit Jazzafras Town, we were overcome by glitz and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of compass, I met a hippie daisy named Hazy. <laughs> Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him he couldn't, we couldn't since we were looking for the compass part, you know. But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming drama slam. He said the so-called drama llama plot might in fact be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. The script was great, bro. I got really hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro, grass. I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone had me. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just bummed me out more, so I snuck out the back door. But wow, outside were tons of fans. My fans. Fans of grass. 
They swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine, screaming for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece to the marvelous compass, which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous runes in Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished princess Eekfair. How you soothe me. I would be grass for you. I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, bro. Um, so yeah, anyway, then I got back to my boat, came back to Rogueport, and here I am. Another leg of my adventure completed. I have guests coming with kids. I'm here for the long haul. Oh, I thought you were leaving. No, dum dum. That was okay. Hey, hey, you, you. Double pain doubles the damage Mario takes. What's the point of that? Changes Mario clothes into Wario. That'd be pretty funny. Makes Mario sluggish. Doubles the damage Mario. Takes. Why would you want that? Grass grows, starring Luigi. Change Mario clothes into Wario clothes. I wish I had, wish I had the coins for that. That'd be pretty fun. Oh, we got an email. Rogueport issue. Gomez, age 40, known for napping in the flowers in the west side of the park, was found eating flowers and given a stern warning by authorities. Asking for comment, Gomez stated, Well, I just really, really love flowers, and I was hanging out, and before I knew it, they were in my mouth. I'm so ashamed. Citizens of Rogueport responded with disbelief and begrudging support for the strengthening of flower conservation. Shop report, Twilight job. Watching the husband and wife proprietors of the shop at work is a heartwarming sight, but don't get on the hubby's bad side. Don't go smiling my wife, says the jovial, jealous shopkeeper. I'm hers for life, and your fancy big city teeth ain't gonna change that. Well, who could doubt their eternal love? Surely not the reporter. We press the shopkeeper for further comment, but regret that his words are unprintable here. <laughs> but we did learn from the little missus that there will be a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just show her this screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points at any purchase. Cooking for rookies. All right, my little rookies. From the intermediate level recipe, the dish is a healthy salad. Just slice up a turtley leaf and a horsetail. Mix them together and you're done. Thanks all of the day. Blah, blah, blah. Damn it. Glands are why? I'm sorry. Shuffle foot. All that matters. I can't even jerk off fast. Okay. This? All right, should we go to the door? The thousand year door? Find out where our next... To find out where your friends are. Hey, it's Mufalasa. Oh, what implicable timing. This was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went dustily. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed the lies that help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friend. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me. Oh, so I need to go back to Hooktails? And then I'll get the ability to upgrade people more than once. Is that what's is that what I'm is that what I'm gathering from that? Ooh. Oh, we're back there. What do we got in here? Ooh, what's this guy do? Come quite a ways, this is Pet Rippo's adjustment house. You change things you want to change your abilities or your partner's rank. I can adjust those things for low, low price. Oh, that's interesting. So you could get, you could take down, if you upgraded one person, you didn't have the shine sprites, you could upgrade and move them down. That's pretty cool. What's up, buddy? 29. Item hog. Make it likely that items will appear after battle. Happy heart. Heart finder. Quick change allows your ally to attack even after changing partners. That's pretty cool. One. Drop FP when your partner attacks by one. Boost Mars jump and hammer attacks by one. Can I only get one of those? Make enemy HP visible. Oh shit, we could just have peekaboo. We wouldn't have to paddle anyone anymore. I think I'm gonna save it. Get 
can finally get through that part. Pretty sure the door is right here, is it? That was your door? No, oh, I lost. I, li I mean, I lied, I'm lost. Cocaine. Guys, I'm lost. That guy doesn't have HP. Dude, that guy is like a lot of like plus five HP or five uh, damage. Not damage. Oh shit! I fucked up. I let go and asked him. <laughs> I still got a stylish at least. These guys still give good experience, I guess. Hey, look at that! Ten experience from these guys. What the fuck's that all about? What is that? Why is there an X? Fighting this guy and just getting a level up. Get it. Everyone likes it. You can't not like it. Ancient Dream. Nose face. Ah, motherfucker. That's what's up. Level up, level up, level up! We're going with health again. Getting a lot of health. I have the income to get in trouble with a habit like that. <laughs> well, you haven't... You haven't spent a lot of money on health park, so that's that shows a lot of restraint in your your spending, right? I think you'd be fine. Oh god damn it! So this is where it took. Yes, tier peace out. All right, Peg, we're not going to be going too much longer, so we'll catch you tonight for the procast, maybe. 9.30 for the procast. The shop. Where is the fucking the door? Isn't it like right from here? I always forget. We're gonna find out where the next star piece is. Maybe go talk to the old the old man and then we'll and we'll be piecing out of here as well. No, it's not here. I always forget down here. What's over here? That guy looks new. Oh, these guys are all new. They're all different. They're all stronger. So I could like grind down here. Hey, look at this. These are all people I haven't even played with. Or I haven't even gotten their life before. But I can one shot them. And they still give me three. They give me four apiece. Damn, dude, we could grind up levels here easy now. Like, look at that. Look at this shit. Oh, look at that badge. We can steal that badge. We gotta steal that badge. Miss me on this. Miss Thief. God damn it, I hate that we can't. Oops. I'm trying to steal that shit. I can only do one side though. Yet. Oh, I can only do the person close. Press A to stop the gauge after passing. Got it. Close callback. Uh. 
Hell yeah, baby. That guy didn't give me any experience. <laughs> Miss Meow's stealing in the house. Alright, I think the door is up here. One of the Danger Mario badges. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up, baby. I know it. Alright, where are we going next? Is that the fifth crystal star or the sixth crystal? The fifth. Two more to go, boys. Let's go. Where are we gonna go? Probably gonna be the moon. Oh no, what's that? Blitz and chance. Was this Rome? Next chapter is one of your favorites. Good to know. Good to know. The location of the crystal star was recorded on my mental map. Okay, then now we must go to Professor Frank. Oh, yeah. Yep. Don't take me right there. Aww. Great news, my friends. The next crystal star is in Toshley Height. Hey, isn't that place simply bursting with the rich and famous? Excellent. Yes, yes, and I'm fairly sure there's also a shrine to the stars called Poshly Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or Danish dungeon either. Just a first attraction. Well, don't tease us, Professor. How do we get there from here? There's a non-standard game over I wish you could show once you get around that chapter. This is the best part. You ride the most famous train of all, the Excess Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next crystal star will be yours. Getting those crystal stars has been backbreaking work, but this time will be a cinch. You know, I had heard of that. Must be rich and famous to ride the Express. It may be true. Perhaps you could ask Don Pianta for help with this, too. Oh, and I do not think that's a good idea. Do you know him? He is not one to mess with. Oh, well, if you have to, then I'm in, but it could get ugly. Come on, Mario, let's go. Yeah, we can talk to Don Pianta, we know him, excellent, then we're set. We may not have much time left, so you must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can, you guys just handle your end of things. So we gotta go... See the Don. We gotta see the Don about a girl.